Stability is so important for children and it can really improve their outcomes. But when you're parenting with a narcissist, they are in unstable and therefore it's hard to protect your children from that. So this video is going to look at some ways in which you can increase their stability and security when they have an unstable parent. Welcome back to the Nurturing Coach channel. For those of you who have recently subscribed, huge thank you, really do appreciate it. I appreciate every single one of you that watches my videos and takes the time to comment or even just to like it. It really does make a huge difference and keeps me going. <laughs> so I want to talk today about an unstable parent and what that can mean for the child and how to protect them in the best possible way. So narcissists are unstable. They're unstable on every single aspect. They're unstable emotionally. They can be raging at you one minute, laughing at you the next, not speaking to, the, to you the next. And that can really disrupt the mental processing of, of any of us, but especially for children who are learning their way in the world. They're also un unstable physically. They can sometimes want to be near their kid and involved and then all of a sudden they might withdraw we know the reasons behind that so when i say they want to be involved in their life i'm not talking about from a, a loving point of view i'm just saying that sometimes they're there and they're engaged and then other times you won't hear from them for months on end um and obviously, again, that has a massive implication for the child's security because they need that consistency. They, they need to know that their caregivers can be trusted, that they're going to be there for them. And when you've got an inconsistent, unstable parent, that's sending a very clear message to the child that they can't rely on this person. They can't rely on the people around them that are meant to be giving them that care. And they internalise that. Children do that a lot. They internalise things that go on in, their, in the outside world and they make it like a solid or a concrete um, plan for blueprint, essentially, for the rest of the world. So when they've got an inconsistent caregiver, they therefore assume everyone must be inconsistent they are inconsistent or they're unlovable and they're unworthy of being consistently cared for and so the outcomes for children as you can imagine that are left feeling like that left feeling like that they can't trust anyone in the world that they um they are afraid they because when someone's emotionally unstable that can generate fear so we have this innate desire to be close to our parents that we believe that they provide us with comfort. So when a child is scared, they want to go to their parent to, to protect them. But suddenly this biological process of them wanting to be protected by their parent, they're, they're, they're split because this protective parent is not protected. This person is actually the cause of their fear and so that can cause a lot of um, damage in the child's brain they can essentially split between thinking that people are all one and or all the other they're either all dangerous or all good and there's we know we're, that actually most people we're we're kind of, we're bits of both we can be scary when we're having a bad day but actually most of the time we're we're normal natural people but this behaviour from the narcissist is absorbed by the child. So they make this assumption that the rest of the world is exactly the same. Um, and those, those anxiety-driven um, responses and the anxious attachment that can be caused from that, it can also, it can mean that they want to withdraw. Actually, they don't want any um, involvement. They don't want that. So 
they can be anxious, they can be avoidant, and they can also be disorganised. And that is a recipe for a lot of difficulties in later life. They're going to struggle with relationships, they're going to struggle with themselves, trusting who they are, they're going to be depressed, there's going to be a lot of blaming and self-doubt in there, and potentially they can also repeat the cycle and become either narcissistic or um, some other personality disorder. And so it's really important that your role as the other parent, the co-parent, is to essentially counteract all of that negativity. So what can you do? Well, create stability. And one of the best ways for children to create that stability is in routines. And the narcissist will, won't have any routines because they're unstable. So at your house, in your time when they're with you, making sure that you get up at the same time, they brush their teeth at the same time, they have their breakfast at the same time, they have their dinner at the same time, the same person picks them up on those days. Just all of these things, they are going to make a massive difference to reducing that instability because they're getting that mixed message again they're getting that message that actually i can trust this person i can trust you to be there i can trust that this is going to happen and so we're counteracting that lack of trust that the narcissist is feeding them and we're giving them this whole new way of looking at the world and the more you can do that the stronger that belief is going to become so make sure that all the time you are demonstrating that they can trust you, that there is stability in their life with you. And that also goes for people. So grandparents, aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters, new partners, these are all equally important that they provide that consistency and that stability for the children because we want to stack up the positives and so that the negatives are much less important. They're still going to have an impact, but actually there's lo lots of research that shows resilience isn't, isn't the absence of any negative um, childhood experiences. It's how a child responds and their coping mechanisms. So the more you can do in stacking up these positive experiences and stability and security, the more resilient your child is going to be to the negatives over here. So it's a massive job that you have, but you'll be doing loads of these things anyway. A lot of this just comes naturally to a healthy parent. We do love unconditionally. That love isn't conditional on them putting their shoes away or then cleaning their bedroom. We give them that security and that stability and that we still love you we might be annoyed at you but we still love you we still we still give them hugs we still give them attention and so all of those things are really going to make a difference and like i say you do have enormous power to be a positive and good influence and to tip the balance for your children i hope that you found that helpful um, if you would like any help with this, obviously co-parenting with a narcissist is difficult. The booklet that I put together is, the link is on the screen right now. Uh, but if you would like one-to-one -one support, do email me at inquiries at the nurturingcoach.co.uk. I'd be happy to ask, answer any questions or drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, comment and share just to help other people. And again, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It does make a massive difference. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.